what if I'm not happy mm -hmm. with the <laughs> results of my one skill retake? How many times can the candidates apply for one skill retake? Welcome to the official testing center for IELTS on computer here in Picampa, España, Manila. Presenting the British Council 9.09er IELTS on computer testing center. Now you might be wondering of all the locations, why did we choose to have the live right here at the computer lab? Well, that's because for our next topic, one skill retake, this kind of innovation in the IELTS is only applicable for IELTS on computer. Yes, you heard us right. IELTS on paper will not allow you to have one skill retake, but another one of the dozens of benefits for taking the IELTS on computer is one skill retake. So we have with us Sir Brian Martin Shawson, who's by the way responsible for the technicalities of all the computer labs of 9.09 or nationwide. And none other than Sir Philip Edward Aitana, CELTA certified and the master of IELTS and OET preparation. So let's get down to it. We begin with one skill retake. So at one point in the past, if you're unhappy with your performance, you have to repeat all four subtests in your next attempt. But this 2023, a new innovation introduced by Cambridge, you're allowed to have a retake of just one skill. So let's ask Sir Brian, how does one skill retake work? It's actually super easy. And all you need to do is to file for it. You are going to have an opportunity to take just one examination as opposed to taking all of the four subtests when you reattempt your IELTS. Unlike before, in which when you flunk one or you didn't get your target score in one of the components, you have to take everything. Now, there's actually this new and exciting feature from uh, the British Council, IDP, and many uh, and Cambridge. All of the testing centers for IELTS are now offering the one skill retake. So it's super easy. You just have to go to your profile and you have to book a one skill retake attempt. Mm -hmm. And you just have to come to the center on the day of your reattempt for just one of the components instead of all of the four. So isn't it exciting that you don't have to spend like three hours or four hours of the examination venue going through the rigors of repeating all four subtests because now you're allowed to take just one. And because of this new, uh, new endeavor of Cambridge, now a lot of you have some questions in mind. So it's time for us to discuss these frequently asked questions. So Sir Philip, what about the frequently asked questions of the candidates pertaining to one skill retake? I imagine the first question that you're asking us, how much is the one skill retake? How much is it, Sir? It's always the first question. <laughs> it's yeah. always the first question. Yeah. <laughs> so. The regular IELTS examination fee, 12,350 pesos. But one skill retake costs 65% of the actual examination fee. And right now, it's 7,780 pesos because that's 65% of 12,350 pesos. It's just that. If history is anything to go by, usually there is a price increase for IELTS exam fee every year. So if ever, next year, they are going to increase it to, say for instance, let's say 12,720. So the 65%, which is the cost of the one skill retake, the new basis will be the, uh, the price of the IELTS exam fee by then. So always remember, regardless of how much the actual examination costs, one skill retake costs 65%, okay? So. That's question number one, which is how much? What about question number two, Sir Philip? Question number two would be how long is the one skilled retake result valid for? Is it just the same as the original IELTS? Mm -hmm. mm. Sir Brian, we like to take this question. Super interesting question. You might be wondering if there is a delay, then how much time do I have to utilize my test results? Mm. And the good news is you are going to be able to use it for the same validity as your IELTS. So it's for two years as well. Mm. So there you go. Question number one, how much? Question number two, how long is the result going to be valid for? But what about question number three? Question number three, what if I'm not happy mm -hmm. with the <laughs> results of my um, one skill retake? Is it possible for me to have it remarked? The answer is yes. It's exactly the same process. 
how you apply for EOR or the inquiry on result, it's exactly the same process if you're going to have a remarking of your one skill retake. Mm. Yes, that's basically how it works. Do we have more? Yeah? Yeah, actually, uh -huh. I have a related question. Like, you have an inquiry on results mm -hmm. or a remark or, and a one skill retake if you're not happy with your uh, original results. Can you do both? Yes, you're actually allowed to do both, but not at the same time. Uh, okay. So you decide whether you'd like to have one skill retake first or EOR first or inquiry on result. But you cannot do both of them at the same time. But if we're going to ask Sir Brian here, which one would you recommend first? Should the candidates go for one skill retake first or inquiry on result first? Good question. I think the smart move is to file for EOR first or yeah. your remarking. Because who knows, maybe yeah. it goes up and you don't have to attempt your exam again. But just True. in case, you can actually still book your, e your one skill retake right after. Now, hmm. you have something I to ask? Do. I do actually. Mm -hmm. How long? Can, uh, how long do we have to oh, book the EOR certainly. and to remark on uh, one skilled retake result? Because the timelines can be a bit mm -hmm. confusing, mm -hmm. I think. So how long does, uh, if we're going to go through the sequence of if ever you're not happy, having a remark first and then maybe a one skilled retake, how soon after their IELTS results can they file for a remark? Maybe we can do it this way. I'll discuss the route if candidates would like to have one skill retake first followed by EOR uh, then yeah. Sir Ryan later he's yeah. going to answer the question what if it's EOR first then one skill retake okay so I'll begin with one skill retake before EOR in the event that you're unhappy with your IELTS result you're given 60 days from the day of your written exams to apply for EOR so 60 days let's make that clear but you've applied for remarking and you're unhappy with the result. I mean, you've applied for one skill retake and you are unhappy. So you are given six weeks from the day of your one skill retake to apply for remarking. Okay, so again, I discussed the method if you're going to have one skill retake first before EOR. But Sir Brian, what if they'd like to have EOR first before one skill retake? That's truly exciting because you get your remarking results much faster mm -hmm. than 60 days. You don't really have to wait that long, especially mm -hmm. when you're taking IELTS on computer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in just maybe less than a couple of weeks, you have your results already. So if you still did not have an increase in your test score, you would still have the opportunity to mm -hmm. file for a one skill retake and reattempt your examination and then probably, hopefully, you'd be able to wing it this time. And maybe one of the advantages of one skill retake is you don't have to stay at the examination venue for like five hours or more than four hours, knowing that the registration starts at 7.30 a.m. So all of the candidates, whether those who are going to take the four subtests or just one skill retake, need to arrive at the examination venue at 7.30 a.m. because of the registration process. Then at 9 a.m., that's the start of the written exams. So we're here at the actual testing center, actual examination venue in the city of Manila. So imagine, Listening always comes first in the written exams, but what if you only applied for one skill retake of writing? Because everyone is provided with individual headsets, then you don't get to know what's happening in the next cubicle. So while everyone else is doing listening and here you are doing the writing subtest because that's the subtest that you applied for a remar, I mean a retake, and when you're done with your writing exam, you can leave the room. You don't have to wait for everybody else to finish because you only applied for one skill retake. So now you understand why this does not work for IELTS on paper. Because for IELTS on paper, everyone is provided with an individual test booklet, individual answer sheet. But this time, no test booklets, no answer sheets. You're just going to do your thing in front of the computer. So to clarify, IELTS one skill retake is only for IELTS on computer candidates, not applicable for IELTS on paper candidates as of November 2023. And that's a very important disclaimer because 9.09er is always accurate as of the day of recording. Okay, do we have more frequently asked questions?
I have a question. Oh, you have? Okay. I, I have a question. Bring it on. How many times can I do this? Like, if I do the one skilled retake and I'm not happy with the result, can I do it again? Yeah. Sir Brian attended that meeting with the British Council. <laughs> so, Sir Brian, how many times can the candidates apply for one skilled retake? Unfortunately, there's only one opportunity for uh, it. So, you have to wing it that time. Otherwise, you have to take again the examination, the full test, all four of them. I just remembered something that Filipinos can relate well with. What's that Popoy and Basha movie? I'm One Last Chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, because that was the reference of the British Council representatives. You only have one last chance. It's not as if you're not happy with your one skill retake and you apply for another one skill retake and another one skill retake. No. The first and last chance. Okay? You only have one last chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but a very important question, I think, uh -huh. and I think uh, is this is something everyone would like to mm -hmm. know: Does do all organizations accept uh, the one skill retake? The good thing about this in this the good thing about this industry is that everything keeps on changing, mm -hmm. and I should know that because I'm a dinosaur in this industry. I started teaching in 2006, and I've already encountered a lot of changes in the last 17 years. But guys, as of November 2023, one skill retake is accepted mostly by universities and colleges. So that means to say it's for student visa application. Are you applying for immigrant visa? For now, it's not accepted by most embassies for immigrant visa application. Are you the kind of person who's more interested to apply for working visa? But as of November 2023, one skill retake is not for working visa application. So, we're not saying that this is going to be the case forever. Because every month, there is an, there is an announcement from a particular board of nursing or That's a particular right. immigration body. Right. All you have to do is to subscribe to 9.09er uh, social media pages because from time to time, we are always the first to announce the latest innovation, the newest trend. That's why, don't forget to subscribe to 9.09ers social media pages. Do you still have more questions? That would be all for now. So, once again, we are 9.09 and we can't wait to see you in our next Facebook Live session or YouTube video. Once again, if you'd like to ask anything, just make sure to use the comment section because what do I usually do after the live session or after the video is uploaded? I'm respond uh, responsible for re responding one by one to the comments. Once again, we are 9.09er and we hope to help you in making your dreams of going abroad come true. But for now, we'd like to say bye! bye.